Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I'm seeing a weird flickering on the screen here. Um, Alright, this is some kind of a demo mode. I did play this back in the day, but I don't really have too much memory of it. I did have a quick look at the... Um, at the instructions, which are available on Atari Mania. And, um... So I think I have a bit of an idea. Kind of like a cross between River Raid and, uh... I don't know what, River Raid and... <clears throat> uh, there's a there's a game! There's a game in my head! Right here in my mind. I can't remember, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, maybe it'll come to me later. In anywho, um, I am going to try to figure out how to get this game going. Oh, what the? Uh, okay, that's the. I think that's the option key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're still in demo mode. Actually, I have the instructions up here. Let me just flip over to that real quick. And... <clears throat> F5 to press a play level. That's VIC-20 and Commodore 64. We gotta travel through several phases of artery obstacles and destroy a life-threatening blood clot. Yeah, if you're not familiar with this, the movie, or, well, it was a book originally, Fantastic Voyage, um, the idea is some scientists uh, get, in, in a submarine, get shrunken down to microscopic size and voyage through the body of a patient. Um, I think the idea is to get to the brain and destroy a blood clot. Um, it's been a long time since I read that story and or saw the movie. <clears throat> Select. Selects a play level. Option pauses. Oh, well, that's the pause screen with the flickering lights. That's very handy. Uh, I don't see anything on the play levels here. No matter which play level you choose, you will have to travel through several phases to reach your goal. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. Finally. <clears throat> play level 1. Normal game, extended normal game, difficult version for advanced players, extended difficult version. Easy game for beginners, e extended easy game. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So probably level 1 is the way to go here. In the difficult levels, you will face more obstacles in your journey. You have to try to uh, not I'll let the patient die as well. On the heart monitor. Okay, so here... Oh, I was on. I was on number one. Here we go. So you don't want to hit the walls of the artery in which you are flying your ship. Those are... I forget what those are called, but they're bad. Whoa! That was an enzyme, I believe. The little key-looking key thing. You do want to shoot those because they apparently go into the bloodstream and calm things down. Ah, crumbs. So I think hitting the walls produces those little round dot guys. Okay, those are... Those are blood cells, I think? And you want to leave those alone as best you can. Whoa! Good. Hitting blood cells bad. <coughs> ah. Whoa. Whoa, I say. Oh, jeez. I guess we just went into a smaller artery. I need to cough pretty bad. Hopefully that's not going to be two percent. Oh crap! Don't hit the cell wall. The arter. The wow, those things are hard to hit. Oh, 
Okay, the closer it, it seems, the faster you, the closer you are to the top of the screen, the faster you move through the through the artery. Okay, we got into another phase here. Uh, I forget what those are. Whoa. Oh. Those aren't destroyable, apparently. I guess not. Oh, crap. What the hell? Flatline. Okay. Well, I got 15,000 points. That was the clot, I'm pretty sure. You must steer carefully through the indestructible clotlets. Well, I don't know how the hell I was supposed to steer through the clotlets. And then you have to shoot the clot a whole bunch of times. Fifteen times, it says. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's give that another go. I'll see if I can go quickly through the... Traversing the arteries when they're this wide, other than the hitting the stupid whatever those things are. I think they're just points and and do the player do the submarine damage. Doesn't look much like a submarine, does it? Oops. I hit the uh, the artery wall there. Okay, here we have the. Okay, enzyme good. Blood cell hitting. Ah, crap. Hitting blood cell bad. It's actually not that challenging on normal, at least not this portion of the game. Oh, and here we have the ever shrinking. Arterial walls. I think I'll just sort of stay at a fairly slow pace here. Uh oh, uh oh, dang, dang. Okay, a little faster. The old EKG there is, or ECG, I should say, ECG, EKG, truer. Okay, here we go. These are indestructible. So, how the hell? <laughs> Literally, how are you supposed to steer past those things? I guess maybe you have to judiciously go faster. Um. Nuts. Dang. Ooh, I guess I beat it. Although, that was kind of mental. I don't know how you're supposed to get 15 hits in. Like that. I'm going to go out on a limb. Uh, I'm not much of a limb, I don't think, and say that the arterial passages, like it was the exact same both times I played. So that's interesting. I think now that I've defeated one clot, or, yeah, destroyed one clot, I think there's going to be some extra stages to this game. You don't have to hit those things, whatever they're called. Faster! Uh-oh. Shoot the enzyme. Oh, poo. Poopers! Um, how can I... I think I just want to go fa- Oh, these are... These are bacteria, I think? to hit these things. Shoot them. Damn it. I 
think the more bacteria you let go by, the the less well off the patient is. Wow, that's these things are hard to hit, man. They're it's like they're calibrated to be off the damn screen when you go like where you can't hit them. Hmm, this is bad. This is bad. Heart rate of this patient is out of control. Ah, oh, they flatlined. Boo. Okay, well let's see about Difficult, that would be three. <laughs> Once they shoot out, pretty tough to hit. I'm shooting enzyme good. So the graphics in this are really quite simplistic. Um, the colors are interestingly done. general idea how, how that was not how that was accomplished but uh, I'm not an expert on the subject okay that was bad uh oh jeez <laughs> I am not doing very well here this is oh boy okay okay don't shoot the white blood cells Try, oh, oh my gosh I'm trying to hit the the little dots are oh thanks antibodies, um, which inflame the whole area, the the body I guess or the artery. Hmm. This is uh. Okay, I think I, I think when I when I well, <clears throat> I think when I got the. Uh, Enzyme, I actually was able to tell the difference in heart rate of the patient. Calm down just a wee bit. Okay, I don't know how that... Maybe I have to speed through this section? Oh boy. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Gotcha! Gotcha! I guess once you're maybe hitting the cell walls no longer matters when you get to the clot stage with the clotlets and everything. Maybe that's the, the trick there. get a fair number of points for those guys. Oh, no. 
Extended. Okay, well that's not bad. It's not it's not stellar, to be honest. But it's not bad. Um Yeah. Alright, I think that's gonna God, that flashing is too much. Um Yeah, and that's gonna do it for my look at this game. Fantastic Voyage. Whose game is this even? Let's have a look at that uh webpage again. And by we, I mean, and by let's, I mean me. Serious Software from 1982, written by Tom McWilliams and David R. Lubar. Interesting, what other things did those two guys do? <coughs> David Lubar did... Oh, he did Pathfinder, he was in on Ultima 4. Lots of stuff. Master of the Lamps. Hacker. Let's have a look at Tom McWilliams. Uh, a bunch of stuff as well. Oh, some commonalities too. A little bit of commonalities. All right. Well, I'm not going to show you the web page, and I am going to sign off now. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>